looks like I am live. And I know I, I'm trying to set this thing on camera. So I know I haven't been live in a minute on the YouTube channel. But I want to talk about the black sheep. And I want to share with y'all a experience that had happened in... Um, not experience, but just somebody that I know who is experiencing the black sheepness. And I'm not going to give names. I'm not going to do anything. We're just going to go straight into it. So, basically, when you are the black sheep and you are in a disagreement with your family, especially if you're having a, a spiritual awakening, especially if you are like totally opposite of your siblings, your family, your parents, all of that. Everything that you are experiencing is just something that they don't, they can't click with. And every time you come around your family or co-workers or for this this goes for friendships this goes for working at jobs this goes for just being randomly out in public this goes for everything just being a black sheep the one thing i want y'all to remember from this live is that your light will always irritate demons if you are different if you are not like any other that is a prime example of being a black sheep so i'm going to give you an example Thanks for everybody who's joining in. I'm going to give you an example, right? I'm not going to give a name. This person that I know. Let's just start at the beginning. So, this person was with a female. And he was with this female for a minute. And it was problems in the relationships and issues and this female did the dude very very badly very very horribly um it was a very very sad ending now this female after they break up she goes and befriends his sister his sister continues to mess with his ex and be friends and his family is still inviting his ex who did him so wrong over to functions involved in family things it's 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 gotten to a point to where this girl who he was with is now living with his sister they're that close and it's almost like this girl is obsessed with him and he can't get away. Well, he's trying to get away. So this situation, let me show you how it turns because being the black sheep, right? The first person who I was talking about, this dude, his entire life, he has always been in drama because of his family. And because of everything, the vibrations that his family is at. Soon as he started to change and not want to be involved in that anymore and actually be his self, his family started to isolate him, treat him differently. Seems like his brothers and sisters and his mom and his, his, his father and stuff like that, they all get along. They all get along. But every single time you come around, they just always want to argue with him every time, every single time. It never fails, right? So he is basically the, ba the black sheep of the family. And it still continues. It's still happening to where every time you come around your family members or if you're working in a job and you come there and you just feel the atmosphere changes when you walk in, it's because your light is brighter than theirs. And their demons are irritated by their light. So, I have to share this because it really was weighing heavy on my heart about people who are seemingly scared 
to embrace them being the black sheep. You should be proud that you are the black sheep. Because if you know that your family, if you know that your family has an issue and a problem, and they and they're vibrating as and doing involving themselves in drama and 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 just just all the negative stuff that could possibly happen that you could form into your life. Every single thing from being get, get being dealing with weird dudes, dealing with um family drama, all of that stuff, getting into fights, getting gun gunplay, all of that stuff like that. Because if you know where I'm from, I'm from St. Louis. This is just a prime example of the demons that are there and the energy that is in that is trying to manipulate people who are like literal stars. Literally, literally bright, literally shining so bright. I'm telling you, the strongest and the worst, that is like literally the worst place to be dropped in America. To be dropped there as a soul and having to fight all of them demons there. It's, it's tough. I want y'all to know that 19 Keys, Yaki Awakening, and many other spiritual people that y'all see are from St. Louis. So, let me get back to the story. You know it's a lot of drama, a lot of guns there, a lot of just, just people dying and all of that stuff like that. And, and... As far as the females, they're they're messing with men like that. And that cycle just continues. So what I'm saying is I need you to embrace being, being the black sheep. Because if you see that there's a problem and an imbalance and an issue within family, just because they're your blood, that's, that does not mean you are responsible for solving all of their issues and all of their problems and this is what i'm learning about my generation because my generation the 2000s babies our parents i'm not saying all of them but most of the time we are vibrationally smarter than them smarter than than that generation because we are older it's some of us are older than the last generation spiritually and soulfully so i want y'all oh thank you for the five dollars um i want y'all to realize that because you're a black sheep because you're being isolated because you are being picked on and because you are experiencing not that familiar family you're not experiencing the bond that they have and they 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 just every time you come around they want to argue with you and try to bring out that lower version of you you should be happy because they have to sit in that energy they have to experience that they have to keep experiencing hell. They have to keep recycling the issues and the problems and, and the trauma. You are breaking out of that cycle. So what are they going to do? Try to keep you in the wheel. Try to keep you in the hamster wheel. This is what I'm talking about, generational curses. When they try to trigger you and talk about you, and, and push you away and treat you like a piece of gum on the sidewalk. I need you to understand that that's what they're supposed to do. Because that's, that's where they at. If you're different, you know you're going to get picked on. Be grateful that you're not like them. Be grateful that you don't have to experience the mental demons that try to that attack them every single day. You got to realize that you were sent here for a reason. And I, I know it may be hard. I know that it's difficult being around and, and growing up around people like that. And you really couldn't express yourself the way you wanted to because you had to constrict your vibration to where they're at to even be around these people. And when, and when you notice when you get away from them or you go over your cousin's house or your friend's house, you're a totally different person. 
That's because they're not giving you the opportunity to express yourself. Get away from people like that. I don't care if it's family. Get away from your mama. Get away from your cousin. Get away from your girlfriend. Get away from your friend. Get away from your father. Get away from your brother. Get away from your sister. Get away from all of them. All they're going to do is try to keep you at their vibration. And they're going to keep piercing and piercing and piercing into your aura field. Until they can see through. I need y'all to realize that these negative entities and these demons, they work through low vibrational people. It's easy to get into them. It's easy to step into their aura field because they just open. When you solid, when your light is bright, imagine, imagine it like this. Say, for instance, you go visit your family. Say, for instance, you go visit your family and you, soon as you walk in, let's look at the spiritual part of it. Soon as you walk in, you literally, your light is so bright because you're so different and you're so talented and you're so gifted mentally and you have a spiritual height that other people don't. As soon as you walk in, every single demon that's manipulating your family members is looking at you. And you wondering why you getting into arguments with them. You wondering why, why, why they just keep picking on you and trying to pick at you. And, 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 and every single one of them, your brother, your sister, your mama, every single person inside of that house is piercing into your auric field. Look at it from that standpoint. Because... Their darkness, it's, it's been dark in there for a long time, right? It's been dark inside of this house. As soon as you walk in with that bright ass light, they not going to like that. That's like you, you going to bed, you, you laying in the bed and it's dark and somebody walk in and turn the light on. You going to get yelled at. So don't, when you get into that situation where... You're around family members or you're even around in work and around colleagues who just you get that rear feeling. You ain't never did nothing to them, but you can tell that they don't like you, you know, for no reason. I've had that experience when I was working at CVS. I literally when I would walk in, I would just feel a whole shift in the energy. One time I was I was at the one time I was at the register and I was we in a pharmacy. Right. One time I was at the register and I was standing up there and I was taking somebody's um, prescription, putting it in the computer and stuff like that. And they was talking to me and I have to recommend the, I have to recommend that because I'm at CVS. And they was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not putting that in my babies. I was like, I totally understand. As soon as they come out the womb, they want to shoot you up. Soon as you come out the womb, this white girl, this fat white girl, and I'm not, I'm not, no, no slander to fat people, but I just got to give you a description because people's weaknesses are able to be manipulated by these spirits. So if you're, you know, insecure, you're going to, you're going to, you, you, you're that, that, that demon is going to try to latch on to you, right? So I'm standing up there. She comes up there to replace and put more plastic bags. And while I'm talking to this person about, you know, that and, vaccines and all of that stuff like that i'm talking about that she's listening she put it back there she goes back over to the pill counting the pill kind of place and she goes over there and she says she's talking about the, the the vaccination of babies i don't know why she's doing that like she's just literally over there talking loud as hell and just like criticizing everything i just conversated with a, a person me, me and me like this is A and B conversation. You need to see your way out. She literally was standing over there talking about me. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't give her no, I didn't give her no energy. I ain't paying no attention to her. I kept going on about my day. I don't need to. You ain't saying to my face. So obviously you scared. So every time I would walk in there, she would literally. Just have an attitude. 
You know, she never like, you can tell she felt something, some type of weird about me. When I have to conversate with her and be like, hey, what's this number? What's this serial number? She would say it, but you could tell that she just didn't like me. You know, it's like that. It's like that when your light is bright. Embrace it. Don't fear it. Don't be afraid to be different. Because we in a we we in a world, we in a system, we in a we we in a whole vibration. We in here. And I told you, I've showed you a video. I've made a whole video about how Americans are under a spell. Everybody has forgotten who they are, what their power is, what their real last name is, what their birthright is. So you don't think people are under a spell? This country is literally, let's talk, mm, I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm on live trying to make sure that I don't get cut off because certain things that I talk about, you know, how that get. But I made a video about proof that Americans are under a spell. Go watch it. We are literally called a color. That's who, we, that's what we are. That's that they're literally calling us a color. White. Black. And people don't think that they're under a spell. You're okay with that. But then you're complaining about reparations and 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 and, and the injustices that happen when you don't know your enemy. You don't know the codes. You don't know. But you're still complaining. You're not educating yourself, but you're still complaining. So. Let me get back on track about the black sheep. Right. Be grateful that you are the black sheep. Be grateful that you are different, because if you see that these people have a really bad issue. And the things that they do, you can't agree with energetically. It just don't sit right with your soul, the stuff that they do. Like, like his ex still being around his family and constantly coming over in family functions. And, and, his, and his mama inviting the ex, knowing that this woman did so much, ter so many terrible things to him. Killed this baby. Killed his baby without even telling him. And this family, his brother, his sister, his mama, they all still want to bring this woman around. Knowing that she still wants to get back with him. And it's it's like obsessive. Like, you oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cool with the sister and all of that. Like, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. As y'all can see, that's how that's how that's how messed up it is that your family's still bringing in this trauma, this trauma, this traumatic situation, constantly keeping it when you come around them. They still arguing with you. They still trying to do stuff to you. They still trying to mess with your energy. They against you. They against you, folk. Stay away from them. Stay away if you notice, if you see every single time you come around these people and then you get upset when they trying to trigger you, when they talk about you, when they when they treat you weird, when they have a, they, they want to make it seem like, oh, me and my sibling close, but I ain't close with you. Me and me and my family, me and my mama close. But I, you ain't close with my mess. That's me. Realize that. Realize that. It's real messed up. It is. But you got to fight through that. Because you were placed in that bloodline for a reason. It's a reason why you're different. It's a reason why you vibrate. It's a reason why your light is so bright. It's a reason why they hate you. It's a reason. It's time for everybody to stop. <sighs> Like the analogy I just explained to you about people being under a spell. When you are a star seed, when you are a powerful soul 
an old soul, a soul who's been all around the cosmos, and you come here on a mission? What you expect? You go, you coming down to the nittiest, grittiest, most most vibrational, up and balanced area ever. Stay solid. Stay strong. Don't let nobody dim your light. And when you experiencing that, get away from them. And then when you when you're done, when you're away from them, please do not wish harm on them. Please do not wish harm on your family. The whoever upset you. If you out in public and somebody just don't like you for no reason, that's not them. That's not their core soul. I need you to realize that you are here for a reason. I'm going to keep saying that because I need you to feel it. Don't think it. Feel it. When you get so upset and say, for instance, like because you love your family, you know, you still have that. You still trying to connect to the blood bond that y'all got. And you still trying to appease, appeal to that. And they still hurt you. And they still, they still treat you like, like dirt. They still treat you like that. I know it's going to be hard, but I need you to wish them well. I need you to pray for them. I need you to really, really wish them better experiences. That mama, that sister, that brother, that father. We ain't even going to get on the father. We not even going to get on the father. You know how it is. You know how fathers is. They don't want to be in your life. And then when they are in your life, they still got messed up trauma that they dealing with. It's sad, but you got to forgive. You have to pray for them. Wish them well. Don't wish no harm, no matter what they do. I mean, if you was keeping your, if you keeping your distance, obviously, if you went around them and you know they still, been, they've been treating you like this your whole life, there's obviously something that you needed to learn. There's obviously a reason why you were called to that house. Because you don't know boundaries. Because you don't understand that, these these people are not looking out for the best the, the best of your well-being. And you still can't see that. So be grateful that you experienced that. Even though it's triggering, even though it hurt, change hurts. Change hurts. Why do you think I'm in a gym? It hurts. It hurts. My leg hurt right now. Both of my legs, my abs, my arms. Change hurts. But you got to go feel it. Emotionally. Physically, spiritually, all of that. So what I want you, in order for you to cut these ties, in order for you to feel better, in order for you to move and change your life and not be upset as far as family-wise, as far as your workplace area, as far as your friends, as far as just being out in public. Because there are spirits and entities everywhere. So I want you to realize. That the only way. To repel them. To get them off of you. And get them away from you. Is to wish them well. They don't understand that, that vibration. They don't understand gratitude and happiness. It's foreign to them. So when you act in that light, it repels them. They get away from you. They stop bothering you. It's like a racist person. Like literally when I, I'm, I'm going to give you another example. When I was working at CVS, you know how it's like you, you're a pharmacy technician and you're dealing with pills and stuff. So it's mostly old people who are coming through the drive-thru to pick up their stuff. 
And, you know, I'm a melanated goddess, melanated queen, working the drive through and it's these old racist white people, right? They having an attitude. It's one. It's it's one old woman. She used to come in, come um, come through the drive through all the time. And she would always have an attitude with me, and she would always ask to like get another um, another technician because I wasn't doing my job right. Let me speak to somebody else because you don't really know what you're doing. And she she would purposely because you know I would need her driver's license because she would have like some you know stuff that you get addicted to, and I'd be like, can I have your driver's license? She would never give it to me. And she'd be like, I need to speak to somebody else because, blah, blah, blah. you know, just making a problem, right? It's like that. Your light irritate their demons. And when I say, when I say, I say, you know, because she, she seemed like she a Christian. I'd be like, God bless you. I hope you have a good day. I send you with love. She just, she can't respond. She don't respond. She just be like, <sighs> drive away. It's the same thing. So when you go around your family, and I don't think you even you don't even need to go around them anymore, because after this, you it's over with. It's over with. So dealing with this in public, with family, with friends, with anybody, co-workers, wish them well because they gotta stay in that vibration. They gotta stay and recycle that pain and that experience and that hate. And that dark energy. They got to stay in that. You don't. That's why I said your light is irritating their demons. So they want you to dim your light. Get away from people who don't operate like you. Because then you have to constrict yourself to that vibration in order to exist around them it's the same thing like a child a child who's born a star seed a child who is very powerful Pro probably might be god dang probably good, might be isis reincarnated probably might be some type of goddess or god reincarnate probably might be shango himself probably might be thor Any, any, probably might be a whole spiritual soul God. And you're born into the, and you chose to be born into the bloodline. And you have to, as a child and growing up being a teenager and, and being in that house around all of these low vibrational people. It's a certain type of strength you have to have to keep your light bright. That's why I am the way I am. Because I've had to keep constantly tw twisting my light bulb and making sure it turns on. Because every single time, the generational curses keep trying to twist my light off. It's a different type of energy in my vibration, in my generation. The fact that we had to grow up and even... even Y'all, even the last generation and generation before that, y'all had to, y'all came here with a purpose and a special amount of energy and a special thing that is rightfully yours. And you had to lower your vibration to even just exist and survive, knowing how powerful you are, knowing how bright you are. Be grateful. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your energy. Be proud that you are still standing. Because what's, what's calling you going to keep calling. What's your calling? It's going to keep calling. And it's going to keep recycling in your head. Why do I want to? Ah, I want to get away. Ah, I don't want to. Like, I want, like, you know, you just want to get away from them. You want to run away. Why are they treating you like that? Because you're different. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> I'm not trying to yell. I just, it's, 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 it's life that I've experienced. So, 
Yeah, I've been talking for like <laughs> I needed to hear this. Yes. That's why I went that's why I went live. I'm like, let me talk about this because I'm just I'm really I'm really 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 trying to let you know like when you dropped in a specific bloodline, I mean you chose to. You chose to drop yourself in that bloodline. You you got to be a different type of warrior to come out with success, come out with happiness, come out with with your life being great because you didn't constrict to their vibration. And I know it may be upsetting because like your siblings get along so much and your mom get along with your siblings and, and, and nobody just gets along with you and you just feel like the black sheep. It's a reason. You being tested. You being tested about your strength because they obviously didn't. They obviously didn't um, succeed in their mission. And now they're stuck in a hell loop. Stuck in it. Literally. The hamster wheel. So. Yeah. I wanted to get that off of my chest. I know I have not been live in a minute on here, y'all. I have not been live in a minute. Thank you for being you, Kaya. We love you. Aw, I love you too. I love everybody on here. I love all my family. Ooh, y'all don't want me to get into that. <laughs> we all family. We all are. But, yeah, please wish them well. Because they still, they, they're in hell. They're in hell. They're in, they're in a hell loop. A literal hell loop. If you see so you're gonna kick somebody while they down. Just think about it like that. You gonna kick somebody while they down. You see where they at. You see the vibration they on. You see the bad stuff and the drama and, and the issues and the body problems and, and, and everything that they dealing with. You see all what they dealing with. You gonna kick somebody while they down. Knowing that you got that bright ass light. Knowing that you you got all of the, the, the necessary tools spiritually, mentally, and physically to get out of this energy. But they don't. And you're going to kick them while they down and wish harm on them. And wish and, and, and say, oh, I hate you. I hope you this. I hope you that. Because of how they hurt you. Don't kick nobody while they down. Don't do it. Because it's, it's only going to hinder you more. It's only going to hurt you more. You got to think higher than that. Exactly. So if you're not working, how are you surviving? General assistance. How am I surviving? Mm. I'm surviving because I figured out the secret when it comes down to existence and energy. If everything is energy first, then just know how to conform energy. The wealth is not in the money. The wealth is in your experience. The wealth is your birthright. You're sitting on gold. You know that? You got a birthright to this land. How I feel? How I feel to be sitting on gold? How does it feel to be so powerful and don't even know it? We've been on this planet for eons. Currency, money, coins, barter system. We've always survived through it because it's never been about the physical. It's about the spiritual, the energy. So if you know how to bring something from here, from inside to here, just like this cup, like this cup, somebody had to think about this cup to make it. You have to think, you have to feel, you have to align 
because you are an example of what energy is. You are a soul inside of a vessel, but you're still experiencing the 3D and you still experiencing the 4D and the 5D all in one. So it's the same thing with currency and money. Currency, money, all of that. You've been with the Egyptians. You've been with the Moors. You've been with every single eon of currency, eon of money. You've always survived. We've always figured out a way to survive on this planet. So that should tell you how powerful you are and how much gold you're sitting on. LOL, just say YouTube paying you. You see what I'm talking about when you try, like, you see what I'm talking about when it comes down to trying to communicate your energy and your paradigm to somebody and they just not getting it? It's like the black sheep. You try to talk to your family. You try to get them to understand how you're doing what you're doing. You think I you think I had all of this? I've been this. I've been this. You said YouTube is paying me? Of course. Of course it's paying me. This is me finally using my powers. I'm using my powers. You can't see it? I'm sorry that you can't see it. If you don't get it, then you don't get it. I'm not going to explain myself twice. I realize the power that I hold. Everything that I've created, this platform, connecting with y'all, connecting with just people who experience the same thing I'm experiencing, and the knowledge and the downloads that I've had, that's always been in me. That gold is in me. That wealth, that, that abundance is in you. You keep thinking that money is outside of you. It's in you. Dad. Don't worry, she's here to troll. Oh, yeah, I know. That's why I'm not repeating myself. Cool, calm, and collected with my nice little tea. What'd it say? Stop dreaming and start doing. I ain't even read it. You are totally terrific. <laughs> but yeah, use your powers. I'm proud of you, beautiful. I'm still connecting to my powers repeatedly at 37. You, 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 you older than 37. You infinite. There's no numbers. To what you have. Your powers is powerful. We are powerful. So. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well. Yeah. I just wanted to talk to y'all about that. Have you done telekinesis? Um. Only a little bit. I'm currently working on telepathy. That's I'm 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 getting more. I'm trying to work on my strength with that because I'm trying to figure out why I'm hearing people's thoughts and my dog's thoughts, and I know that he's trying to telepathically talk to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm currently mastering telepathy. Um, but. Do y'all have any questions before I get off? Because I've been on here for like 40 minutes. And you know when you're trying to like, I really want a lot of people to hear this. I really want people to connect to this. So most people don't click on videos that be like an hour long. So I'm just going to ask if y'all have any questions because I want people to like hear this information. I'm trying to forgive the woman. Forgive her. You're not trying. Just do it. Just do it. Just, just do it. You see, you see the state she in. You you know how she is. You know there's something wrong with her. Just you gotta forgive. 
I'm not forcing you. I'm not trying to tell you when to, but you you want to let it go. Because you where you trying to go, that success, that happiness, that heavenly state, you can't take that with you. You can't take that pain with you. Psychic Impasse is a great book for developing your psychic abilities. I've always felt like the black sheep and I didn't give well, good. <laughs> Shine your bright. Shine your light. It's important. You're here for a reason. You're here to change that. When you have your kids, your kids ain't gonna be like them. Um What happens when you are betrayed severely by your mother? She stole my money. God dang. She stole your money. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, I'm sorry that that happened to you. You really should, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not isolating. You're isolating away from, away from that person. But <sighs> there's obviously something wrong with her. Like I said, every, there's always something wrong with somebody that ain't got nothing to do with you. They just use you. They use your energy. They feed off of it. So it's not it's not about the money. It's about her feeding off of that energy that caused you to feel that way. Trust me, I know getting your money stolen is not a good thing. I got my car stolen, I had money stolen, all that type of stuff. I know how that feel. It's not, it ain't it ain't got nothing to do with you. Just know that. Um it's crazy because I need this message. It's hard dealing with family members that don't like you, but you still want to be around. But still want to be around you and use you. I've been dealing with this for years. Yeah, that's why I wanted to go live and talk about this. Forgiveness is a magical power, for real. When you're grateful that you experienced that, when, you, when you're grateful that you got to see the real core of your family members and you got to see, like, really how they, how they really feel about you, be grateful for that because you don't want to be sitting around for the rest of your life being around motherfuckers who don't like you. You know? I just be staying away and getting me together. Thanksgiving was different. Me and my mom been unbreakable, but my mother's sister is an issue for me. Yeah, it is. Um, who is a lizard demon? Okay, I'm trying to make sure I can see y'all comments. What if someone's mother molested their only child? Dang, I should never said that out loud. YouTube, I ain't talk about that. That's fake. This video is fake, not real. This video is not real. It's for educational purposes. Yada yada yada. Um, like I said, in that situation, that. It's, it's most of the time they being manipulated. Most of the time, the stuff that they do that don't even seem human, you don't, you're not born with that. You're not born acting like that. You know? It's because certain lower weaknesses in them, certain weaknesses that's inside of them have been manipulated by these nasty entities, these beings on the other side. They real grimy. And dirty. They do stuff like that. They'll have you doing stuff like that. And then, like, have you ever had an experience where your your family member or your mama or your, your father or anybody said something to you and then later they don't know why they said it? I was I was I was drunk. Something I, I don't remember saying that. What you think spirits are? When you go to the liquor store and you see that shelf and it says, the, the, the store literally says spirits. And you got all of these different seals like this. This ain't, look, this is uh, coconut oil. But it was a seal on here. When you break that seal and consent to that spirit coming into you. People do that with their energy all the time. All the time. So. Y'all got to realize that these movies and TV shows. And 
these demons that you see in these movies. They actually, it's the real thing. They're trying to make it mythological. Oh, it's just a movie. They're telling the truth. They're showing you what's really happening around you. Because a lot of people are manipulated by these entities. A lot of people. You're a beautiful soul, Kaya. Thanks for sharing your light and presence. I'm glad. You're a beautiful soul, too. That's why, like, like literally, the vibration that I'm in, the fact that you, like, you know, you can see me. You're just a reflection. Like, you really, we're all, you're literally just reflecting me. You beautiful, too. Just, just amazing, amazingly beautiful. So many attacks on mind of kids. Yeah, um, we can get into that because they, they will, they do that at school. Wonder why your kid coming home crying, emotionally imbalanced. Oh, he he just needs to take a nap. Okay, okay. Um, team locks. I'm at eleven years. How about you? Ooh, I'm at. I think I'm at one and one and one year, one and a half. Or I think I might be at two. I don't know. I gotta look at my date when I took my pictures. Um, we are in spiritual war, right? Yeah. You feel me? So you got to be aware, y'all. You have to be aware. Not a YouTube chat proposal. <laughs> Stand up real quick. Y'all leave me alone. <laughs> what do you think about the digital currency movement? I mean, it's it's already planets that are already in digital currency. We got to, we, we, you know. If you watch, when you watch Rick and Morty, you'll see all of these different planets and they all got money and they use phones or technology is money and stuff like that it's gonna evolve you know don't be afraid of it the world gonna evolve don't demonize it don't put in don't be in fear because that's just what it's that's what that's what the agenda is <laughs> um please help me my name is crystal i'm a light worker and a seven light path um but I have nobody left, literally no friends. When do I find people like me, light workers that can be friends with? Well, I mean, I used to, you know, when I was, when I was dealing with my, cause you know how, y'all know how I am, right? Y'all know my downloads, how I think, all that stuff like that. And I was in high school and I really didn't have anybody who I related to. Even after high school, even moving here, moving to another state, it's like, it, it, it really makes you feel like you don't really have anybody who can relate to. That's the whole reason why I created my platform. So if you really want, like, friends, you know, you can find them on platforms where you where you were under videos where you agree. You know? I used to literally, like, I'm going to tell you this. Okay, this is, this is before I got into a relationship, right? This is before I got into a relationship. I had... Um, I used to go on Young Pharaoh's Instagram and I would go click on his following. Well, not follow, his followers. And I would go down and see if um, I would go down and see if there's any dudes in my generation who were following him. And I would go to their page and I would like follow them because I was just like trying to find like, you know, a dude you know, a God to talk to. And I would just try to see what's up. I would literally do that. Like, <laughs> I was so, because I was so, like, out of touch with people. Like, I was just like, hey, how do I connect with a dude? Like, I am not a stalker. Do not. <laughs> I was, listen, I was a teenager, okay? It wasn't anybody that I was seeing in my vicinity or in my school or generation, who I like, you know, I felt like I could relate to. So I would go on the pages of the like the the listeners I would listen to and I would like go under the following and I would like see if there's anybody who's my age and I <laughs> and I would try to I would follow them and I would try to talk to them or text them. You know, I ain't never really I ain't text them. I just followed them and like seeing if I like them. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about me okay 
I was a teenager and I was trying to look for some friends. Okay. Love the vulnerability. Hey, just keep it a buck. <laughs> but like, you don't, listen, if you're looking for somebody, don't ever go looking. Don't ever go looking. Tell you right now, just be in your vibration. Make your own platform where you can create friends. You know, it's all in you. You're you're going to attract the right people at the right time. If you're in isolation, be happy you're in isolation. If you have friends, be happy you have friends. If you experience um a breakup, be happy you experienced a breakup. It's making you stronger. You got away from that person who had issues. Always show gratitude to every expression and experience of life. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's amazing. But um, I'm going to take you from your dude. I'm better. Why y'all always talking about? Why y'all always talking about him? Like, this is, I need y'all to really understand that when it comes down to love and finding your significant other, the person that you meet is going to be exactly for you. It's going to be your soulmate. I'm not everybody's soulmate, y'all. <laughs> I'm not everybody's soulmate. You you may resonate with me and you like and you you know you see my my goddess energy. You see it. And that's so that's that's beautiful. I'm really happy that you can see me for who I am. But I'm not everybody's soulmate. You got people out who's 100% made for you. You good. Just, you know. Don't don't be uncomfortable. Don't be weird, you know. I be um sometimes I'll post video, post videos on my um of me working out and um I'll like see what people say and sometimes dudes just be like really creepy when i'm just being myself it's like you can't control yourself like i don't don't do that don't do that i love y'all i love all my supporters i love all my people but if you're a god please don't make me feel uncomfortable don't i uh, just I, I I won't like I I will have to distance myself from you. Like if I if I meet you in person, if I do a meet and greet, say for instance I do a meet and greet and it's a it's it's a couple of gods there who just can't control themselves. I will have to kick you out. No harm, no hate to you, but it's I cannot be around somebody who cannot control yourself. I am not everybody's soulmates, y'all. Yeah, you're going to find a goddess that's for you. You know? And it's going to be way... It's going to be a beautiful experience, a beautiful feeling. Like, I'm just I'm just in my feminine energy. I, I love that you can see. Obviously, you have your first eyes just open. And you see the beautiful light. But that don't mean you get obsessive and say, you know, weird stuff and try to sexualize my body i really want to be comfortable with expressing all of myself without being uncomfortable but i love y'all you know i love y'all <laughs> um but yeah I am going to go ahead and get off. I've been on here for a minute. I said I was going to try to be on here for under an hour. But, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I love y'all. I'm going to get off so I can... Uh, <sighs> going to get off. <laughs> I will talk to y'all later. I'm glad that I was able to go. Oh, I'm on 1% too. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know what's going to happen? They're going to try to. Woo. Woo. 
Ooh, I'm glad I looked at my charger. <laughs> I'm so glad I looked at my charger. Um, I was definitely on one percent. I love y'all. I hope that y'all enjoy the rest of y'all experience. Show gratitude to every single form of life, whether it's bad or good, because you're seeing, you're getting stronger, you're experiencing. Just be, just be, y'all. Peace and love. And I love y'all.